Hey guys, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, basic Sorgatronics. Go check out all the stuff, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Sorgatronmedia.com. Sorgatron.com is the blog where this lives. And of course, Psychic Media Services is the new uh, business minded media brand that we're doing here. We want to be your sidekick in social media and multimedia and all this stuff uh, as it goes. So I wanted to talk the obligatory resolutions post. I actually did. I, I didn't do a resolutions post this year. I actually did a little bit of a year in review. Um, it, it did that. I, I, it's not really for anybody. Oh, look what all the stuff we did. It's a little perspective actually for me to say, oh crap, we, we did that this year? Was that this year? We, we, oh, we did that? You know, it, it, we do go through a lot over the years and uh, over the year, and um, and it was really kind of interesting to go back. I'm sure I missed a lot of stuff we did, especially early in 2015, because it was yesterday, but it seemed so long ago. Um, so looking at 2016, and I really kind of went into 2015 um, with a little bit more fire under my ass to kind of reassert some things. And uh, that was kind of a dedication to creativity, a dedication to building, a dedication to solving problems that we had um, as a company, as a, me as a creative, uh, things like that. You know, hack, <laughs> life hack, my own stuff. Um, or even, like I said, fill in some holes, fill in some, some, some issues I was having, and that really turned into, hey, we have a team here. And I've always had a bit of a team here. Everybody that's chipped in with the Wrestling Mayhem show and all the podcasts over the years and 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 everybody that we work with, as we I talked about previously with the Santa Sorg and all of our clients that we uh, sent stuff out to this year, um, this past year. And uh, for for 2016, you know, again, you know, 2015 was a lot of, you know, we we put a lot of people in place. We were moving the pieces around. Um, there was a thought that I had uh, as I was driving around delivering cookies a few weeks ago. Uh, you know, I've been working on several different strings in my life and my professional and creative uh, kind of thing. Um, and it's time to kind of take all those strings, all these separate strings over here and say, okay, we're working this line with this company here. We're working this line with, uh, this sort of podcast here. We're making connections with these sort of people here. So now it's time to grab all those strings and kind of pull them together and make one great, amazing thing. Um, now that's coming from some, some, um, opportunities that are on the table, um, one thing I was determined to do in 2015 was, um, and I'm trying to see if I can state it the way that I, I heard it or, or had it playing over and over inside of my head in the right way, but really just uh, be uh, be so loud that, that everybody notices. Um, podcast harder, uh, create bigger. Uh, you know, things of that nature. And I think we definitely got a lot of attention from people in the in the past year that we weren't before. Um, and that can be just from conversations we had from Awesome Chat and said, hey, come on. And, 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 you know, something like that, I think, gives people a look of like, hey, these are the kind of things that we're doing over here. And, and kind of opens the door to a lot of different people, to a lot of different audiences. And and a lot of conversations we had about podcasting is, is I wouldn't say thriving, but there's a lot of people saying, we got something here. We can do something with this. There's enough people that have been doing it and doing it on a real level that we can kind of work with this. Um, so, and I think that's something that's going to come into fruition or at least have a really big attempt here in, uh, in in 2016, I don't know what that shape is going to be, but but I'm seeing a semblance of a shadow of a shape uh, kind of happen with that. And uh, and like I said, and having a team, I've, I've talked about how we're really kind of filling in some of the gaps that we've had. We have some people that are concentrating on our certain aspects, like like the social media and, and even Facebook ads. I, I I just put it's so it's so paltry. I know, but I just I just put together my first um, advertising budget. I'm not going to talk any further about that until I know what we're doing with that. Uh, but uh, but even just like earmarking and says, look, this, this, and this, this is going to this. This is going to try to build new customers in, in the advertising way, um, the, the new media advertising way. You know, it's like let's let's try this. We've been doing the organic thing for so long, and even that we're looking at and trying to reanalyze and say, okay, what's been working instead of just moving ahead with the plan. You know, because you need to do that. If you're doing the same thing you were five years ago, thinking, well, where are all the customers? 
they're looking somewhere else. The, the ball keeps moving, and uh, we have to make sure that we're not falling behind on that. And, and again, it's got more than one person at least looking at it now. And uh, I think that's going to be really important for that moving forward. So now it's going to be, and even personally, um, I'm trying to scale back and reassimilate the fun things in my life. Now, this is what I have the battle with for me. Um, this is fun. The things that I do that are work are fun, but I'm missing the things that I used to do purely for fun. Like go play some video games, complete some video games, read some more comics. Um, and I know there's the, well, work hard, get more hours in during the day, but there has to be that separation, I feel. And even just kind of treating myself a little better. Um, whoo, somebody messaged me. Hello, Around the Indies is published here. You can guess when we recorded this. Um, but yeah, it, you know, because if it, again, kind of your temp, your body is your temple and you should take care of it. And there's a few uh, things I'm doing to take care of that temple that I, I definitely, I think we're all guilty of this, especially if we're trying to work and hustle and get, 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 get going. Um, I'm trying to uh, kind of take back, re uh, reassess, and, and execute a little bit. And thankfully, um, thankfully, my significant other is along the same lines. And that's very, very helpful if you're in a marriage that both of you are in the same, like, let's better some stuff around here uh, inside and out. Um, but uh, no, that's good. It's going to be the big thing. It's more about, um, oh, geez, I, do I really want to use these buzzwords that aren't really about this industry? A more holistic approach to my life business and life and everything like that it's not just going to be business 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 um it's going to be you know segmented you know compartmentalized a little bit more um and hey here's a new thing i'm going to say no to some things um and I'll, i tried it out it feels really good <laughs> somebody actually said that to me recently um in the same vein, but uh, but no, it, it actually does. Um, and and uh, side note, there's a really interesting. I think it was a uh, Dr. Hyman. I think uh, it's tweeted on the Seclair account. If not today, very very soon. Um, about how um, um, a, being an agreeable person is bad for your health. And uh, don't be a dick. Don't get me wrong, but still, like certain things, if you just let and accept. Um, and I am definitely probably moving towards that as well. So, but it gets you in trouble and then you get stressed because you could just put all the weight on you. That probably wasn't even your responsibility to begin with. Um, but that's a whole other podcast. Um, but, uh, no, generally, so 2016, um, I, I, I stated a goal actually in the Santa Sorg episode where, um, I want to double how many people that I am giving cookies to next year because of patreons because of um you know clients that we have supporters of you know in some vein what's going on here and uh, I, I think that's going to be a pretty good one is to build that um scale is a nice startup -y word that you can say figure out how this business scales up instead of just me having my hands on everything which was again started it last year with the team building up but even more so um it's about efficiency. Uh, one set of words that I pulled together for myself is I want to work smarter, not harder. And I think that pretty much speaks for itself because it was, I got to put the time in. I got to put the mind on this. I got to do this. And now I'm stepping back and say, mm, you know, again, kind of the talking about, are we doing things that are actually working uh, as far as growing us, uh, growing the community, growing growing uh, clientele, everything like that. You know, again, I don't have to just have my hands on and go, go, go. Okay, let's step back. Is that the thing that we really need to do? My task list, I've talked about Remember the Milk in the past and how I do my to-do list. That has been sorely reassessed in as far as how I do that. And I'm, and I'm hoping in a more effective way for personally and professionally. So, um but, uh, but that's, that's about it. This is about the collection of uh, muddled resolutions that I have right now. Uh, and I want to know, what are you working on? Uh, what, what are you working on personally and professionally? And, and is it going to be, and, and don't just, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose weight. What are you doing? What are you changing for real? Um, there's a great show uh, over at seclair.com. Uh, we did one about New Year's intentions, not resolutions. And it's about setting expectations because if you just say, I'm going to lose weight, great. Did you track it down? What's your first step? Did you throw out all the junk food in your fridge? 
for to begin with. You didn't? Let me know how it's going in about two weeks. Um, things like that over at seclair.com slash blog, uh, New Year's Intentions Not Revel resolutions i believe it was called and i think we touched base on it slightly on fishing without bait.com as well um i can't i'm trying to remember off the top of my head and uh, i hope uh, that's helpful for you guys and i hope I, I hope uh uh you guys all find uh your victories this year and count the big ones but definitely don't forget about the little ones either so that's my thoughts for tonight today this morning whenever you may be uh listening to this podcast complete as appropriate we'll see you guys next time this show is a member of the sorgatron media podcast network find out more at sorgatronmedia.com